Google Plus for iOS is here, Facebook for Android gets updated, can your smartphone survive a 13,000 foot fall, and the honeycomb apps we currently love today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Mauricio Bavanera. A little later, I'll be joined by Chris Jennings to show off some of our favorite honeycomb optimized Android apps. But first, let's take a look at the top mobile app and hardware news you clicked on at twitter.com slash appjudgment. Make sure you follow us there to influence what we're blabbering about here. Our top story today, Google Plus is finally here on iOS 5. Thomas Houston of This Is My Next writes, this is one of the few apps we've seen that doesn't work on every iOS hmm. device. Yeah. Only the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and 4 devices can run the app. So that means no iPad, no, no, iPad, no iPhone no touch. touch. And, and no um, iPhone 4 if you're um, running the iOS 5 beta, as we, we've learned. Yes, if you're, uh, we've learned. We've we, learned. Would, we would know as yeah. people who are not developers. I, I got as far as uh, clicking, uh, doing the sign-in process, uh -huh. and, and then crash. Yeah, I was able to sign in. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot see my stream. Huh. I can... That's probably important. That's pretty important. I can huddle, and I still get those annoying X's following you on Google Plus notifications. <laughs> pretty annoying. <laughs> uh, but actually, um, Punit Sony uh, right here actually confirms our iOS 5 fears um, and assures us that iPad iPhone support is on the way. So... It's coming. It's coming. I, I think they need to they need to be a little quicker on it, you know? Yeah. You're trying to get people to adopt and move over from the services that they're on now, and the mobile app would go a long way towards getting me to dump Facebook entirely. Yeah, so I'm sticking to the uh, HTML5 web app for sure, now, obviously. Yeah. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going online and doing that. Anyways, up next, this iPhone right here survived a 13,500-foot fall. Wow. Sort of. Uh, Jared McKinney of Minnesota dropped his iPhone 4 while skydiving and later found it on a roof half a mile away from his landing point. How did he find it? Using the GPS-enabled Find iPhone app. What's the, uh, what's the Apple Care policy on that? It's probably, uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll probably be impressed and then give them a new I don't new know, phone. I just dropped it. It's just a screen problem. It's a little fall. So that's cool. So it, it obviously was working enough. I read it, it was still vibrating. Yeah. Uh, it obviously had GPS lock. Obviously. I'm wondering if he can like get all his data off of it. I'm sure he can. I would love to see. I would love an update on that to see just what he was able to get off of that phone. We'll be we'll be following up on the story. Hopefully, see see what this guy does. Interesting to see, by the way, uh, that the same thing happens to an iPhone whether you drop it out of your pocket or right. out of a plane. Right. It two, just shatters. Two feet or thirteen thousand feet. <laughs> No same, same difference. difference. <laughs> uh, next up, by far the most popular story based on your clicks, Facebook for Android. The app has been updated. Now you can post as a page that you administer. Woo! That is not yes. what Android users were yes. waiting for. Amazing! Um, I, I don't understand why that story was really popular with you guys. Um, I think because people who are on Android are so looking for an update to that app. Absolutely. That they're just like, oh, update, update. click. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Um, yeah, we've, we've had actually a lot of emails and tweets asking if there's an alternative to the, uh, yeah. to the Android app, because I guess it's really buggy. Um, but if you are looking for an alternative, um, we got coming up next uh, with Chris Jennings. He's got a honeycomb solution. So if you're running honeycomb, all 50 of you, uh, all 50 of you, <laughs> we've got the Facebook. We app might have an it. answer for you. Um, we'll take a look at that and other optimized apps. But first, it's time for a little search and rescue with Jackie Talbot. Hey, AJ Army, Jackie Talbot here, and it's time for another Twitter search and rescue. Last week, at Yogatastic was looking for a Google Reader app for their iPhone. At Damon, aka George, suggested Pulse News. At Face the Town was looking for an alternative to Android's tweet deck for their Facebook and Twitter needs. Most of you replied with Seismic, a wise choice indeed. This week's mission, at Claudia Alonzo35 asks, what iPhone app do you use to help you stay on a budget? So this is your mission. Send an app reply to Claudia Alonzo35 with your solution. Just make sure you use the hashtag app judgment so we can feature your response on our show. As usual, be courteous, be professional, represent app judgment, and if you don't know the answer, just send us a picture of your favorite thing. Seriously. With more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service, instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet. 
For one low monthly price, Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming to their TVs and computers. With Netflix, you can cancel anytime. Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices, streaming TV episodes and movies like Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. Get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. Now that there's a whole slew of Android tablets out, uh, there's also some gorgeous Android tablet optimized apps trickling into the Android marketplace. So Chris and I thought we'd guide you through a few of our favorite honeycomb apps out there. Yeah, and I know that earlier we were talking about Facebook, how that's yep. been a big problem. Yeah. Android users have been looking for a good Facebook app, especially on the tablet. Mm -hmm. And one that we found that we really like a lot is yep. FriendMe. And FriendMe is really just a Facebook app optimized for the Honeycomb tablet. And it looks pretty. It's very nice looking. It gives you all the functionality you're used to in Facebook. You have everything on the side in this nice bar where you can skim through to check out your news feed, mm -hmm. and you can look at you know, your profile, your friends. A great way to look at your photos, blow it up on the, the screen there. That's pretty cool. This actually reminds me a lot of the, um, like the Twitter app on iPad, because it does the, the multiple um, columns that sort of shuffle out, depending on which one you're uh, tapping on. Exactly. Another thing that I really like about this is that it has a built-in way to play your Facebook games. Ah, Farm Villers. Yes, Farm ah, Villers will love ah. this. Built right into the app, taking advantage of the Flash. You can play your Flash-based games right in the app. Very cool. Which is awesome. Yeah. This might be a good alternative. This is a good alternative. Another one that's coming out is Friendcaster, which is pretty solid, too. Yeah, we just heard just about that. Just came out, so we haven't out. had a whole lot of time to check that out, but it's coming out. Uh, off the bat, would you say this one, or? I would go with FriendMe right now. Okay. I think it just offers the better things. The games are really what separate it. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next, SwiftKey Tablet X. Uh, lots of you are familiar with SwiftKey X on your gingerbread device. Uh, well, it's finally here for your tablet. Yes. And I lo love, love, love this keyboard layout. Um, it's doing sort of the split keyboard uh, thing here, so it's much easier to um, type on uh, if you're holding it in landscape mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the predictions as well. You know, you've got your thumb <laughs> typing, but the right. predictions really are what make this a great keyboard. Yeah, we, uh, I think uh, Carboni just called it um, Swift Key Poetry. Because <laughs> it, it does, as you can see here, you've got uh, three choices. It's, it's, it's trying to anticipate what you're going to type. Um, so I already typed he, so I'm going to tap on that. It's going to anticipate that is is next. Tap, tap on that. And I'm just going to keep going here. He is a great way <laughs> to get the best of the most important thing. It is just keeps going. That, get to the point. <laughs> Tell me something. Um, it's, it's actually pretty fun to play with this. Yeah. Uh, but, but the keyboard um, is actually uh, pretty great. And you can skin it. It's got sort of a neon theme. And, and it has a lot of options. And I know they look at your Facebook and your Twitter, words that yeah. you typically use, yeah. and try to incorporate that into the prediction. Sneaky, sneaky. A little bit sneaky, but it works really well. It's very cool. Yeah, and then the next app we're looking at is News360, which is a, a great way to get all of your news on your Honeycomb tablet. Mm -hmm. And what I really like about this app is that it's, a, it's really good visually. It, it does this thing where 360, you get a 360 degree view of your news feed. I see what you did there. Yeah, so what they do is they have all these photos of the different news stories. Oh, that's cool. And you can go through and look at the ones that would catch your eye. You tap on them, mm -hmm. and it quickly pops into a, a read more. You get to check out the, the news story. And like we were talking about in the last app, it has these windows that just sort of grow within the tablet that's and great. take up the whole screen space. It's funny when you, when you told me, I've got this great news app. Oh, news, really? Hmm. Yeah. Interface. Interface really is everything. And, that's and the it's, key. It's kind of, it's really engaging. It's a beautiful interface. And that's what's been lacking on a lot of these Android apps. That's what we're, that's Absolutely. what we're seeing in these tablets. Yeah. That's we're, what we need. Yeah. All right. And finally, we really can't have uh, sort of a list of, of great honeycomb apps without including a game. Yeah. And I'm going for Battleheart. It's been out for a while, but it remains one of my favorite games on any any platform. It's kind of a, an RTS game where you're controlling uh, multiple characters here, a la Final Fantasy. Um, you've got, uh, you got your spell casters, you have your tanks, you have rogues. So um, Warcraft players might be familiar with this, this format here. It looks easy to pick up and just get right into. It is. You know, it's got this great cam combination of casual gaming and still really, a really, really deep experience. Um, you know, you're trying to level up your characters, you're trying to keep everyone alive and, and get through all the levels. Um, 
and it's just, it, I, I've been hooked, absolutely hooked on this game. It looks absolutely. great on the tablet. I feel like you wouldn't get the same experience on the phone. Yeah, and, and actually that's why I threw this in here. It's been, it's been out for a while, but I, the, the experience really just kind of came to life once I put it on, on the G Slate here that we're Absolutely, rocking. and that's why we have these tablets, that's right? right? That's what we need. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So here are a couple of our favorite Honeycomb apps, mm -hmm. but I know that some of you guys out there have been using Honeycomb, and what are the apps that you love? Let us know, we'll feature them on our next episode on Thursday. That's right, and you can let us know via App Judgment on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, Revision 3. Now, Androiders who love our other Revision 3 shows, make sure you check out our brand spanking new apps for Epic Mealtime, Film Riot, and Soldier Knows Best, who will be our guest next week. Ooh. Yeah, he'll be breaking down the new Android App Store and Google Videos app, so be sure to subscribe. That will be a good one, definitely. Yeah. Tune in on Thursday.